This is Todd with Todd's Dodge Garage. Today we have a clock with a, for a 1977 Corvette. Uh, it came in to me for not operational. We are going to go ahead and check it out. I'll bring you guys along for the ride. Here's the clock that we have in question. First thing we have to do is remove the needles. And they just pull off. Sometimes they can be difficult. These needles are very, very fragile. Next thing we have to do is we have to remove the face. We have to bend these tabs up very carefully because they will break off. They're really a one-time use tab, but if you're very careful, you can get these tabs up. And bend them back down again. Once you get the tabs bent up, then you can remove the shield. And there we go. Next, there's three press washers. And you've got to lift those off of the clock. You can undo the tabs and pull the whole mechanism out and those hold the face on, I should say. I'm going to be real careful. Sometimes they can be a little bit of a bugger. There we go. And here's the clock movement and mechanism. So now we have to inspect this and see what is going on. What I'm looking at is there's a set of points right here and right here and the way this clock works is it's electromechanical this primary spring basically pulls the movement engages this flywheel and the flywheel spins ultimately working the movement as the movement works, 
this point counts down. When the point counts down and contacts this other point, it springs back open again. And the process just keeps repeating itself over and over and over and over again. Sometimes the points will get dirty, sometimes they'll stick. The movements get dirty, very common for the movements to get dirty. Uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and spray this uh, off camera here real quick. In some instances, um, you do have to remove this top plate if the clock requires massive surgery. Other times, they just need a good cleaning and oiling. Now, the problem is you want to use a clock oil. I'm just going to put a few dabs, and when I say a little bit, I mean almost to the point you can't see it. You can over oil these things so fast. And now the clock seems to be, it's wanting to go. So I think what I'm looking at here is just a mechanism that is very dirty. I can see a lot of dirt in there, debris. So this clock does not need a complete overhaul. It just needs a thorough cleaning. So I'm gonna go ahead and spray it again here uh, off camera, bear with me. Sorry about that. So I am not a professional YouTuber. I say that in all my videos. Um, I video myself and I'm working on clocks. It's very difficult to try to get different angles, work with your hands, move the camera around. Uh, you can see the flywheel is spinning It is not spinning like it should, but it's moving. So we've got it freed up. So we're gonna let this go for a few minutes here and see if it comes around. The gears all look to be in very good condition. The movement itself is in good condition. Everything is in place, nothing's burned, nothing's charred. I think before we know it, we'll have an operational clock. Now the flywheel just took off. It just started to spin like it's supposed to. Can you see how fast that's spinning? And then you can see the mechanism this here is going back and forth. Gears are spinning. Points are counting down. This point will ultimately close. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hook power to this and we'll see if it springs back open. Let's check it out here. Okay, I have power to it as if it's in the car. Let's see what happens here.
Watch the, there it went. Did you see that? Did you see those points spring open? Here, I can reset it. Watch very closely. Right there. In just a second, they'll spring open again. Keep watching. There they went. Did you see that? That process just repeats itself infinity times, over and over and over again. So this movement really didn't have anything wrong with it other than it was extremely dirty. So it is functioning fine. I wish I had a clock that uh, I could make a better video for you with, one that we could disassemble and, and completely go through. Um, but this is the basics of your automotive clock, and it doesn't matter if it's GM, Chrysler, Ford, they kind of all work off the same principle. Uh, you want to handle them very, very carefully if you're going to try to open it up yourself. Um, but we're going to go ahead and just lubricate this real well. We're going to let it run, and we'll put it back together. Uh, for now, that's it for this video. This is Todd with Todd's Dodge Garage.